Here's a post from HMS and Decision on Tumblr. She wrote, I think buckle fat removal in a young person is a great way to create a returning customer. It's like adding planned obsolescence into a face. Without the support of this fat, your face and jowls will sag, and your face will, according to your plastic surgeon and your Insta friends and your shitty woman-hating boyfriend, need more surgeries. Making an adjustment to someone's face for money that will all but guarantee this person's cascading self-esteem and need for more plastic surgeries for money is just doctors being hip to capitalism. Elective plastic surgery will always be a tool of capitalism because the most resellable commodity is always your dream self. They create more false standards of femininity, they charge you to meet them, then they charge you to change them, then they charge you to meet them again. But don't worry, capitalism also teaches market segmentation. You know, how they figured out that aggressively gendering toys and selling separate fantasies to male and female children resulted in greater revenue? Huh. I wonder how you create market segmentation when it comes to profiting off our bodies. Oh, of course you create new identities with new surgeries and new clothes and new makeup looks and new hair products and pins and suddenly you have a whole new market. You know what private medical practice is like, right? You have to drum up patients somehow. You can see them on TikTok telling us which celebrities would look better with which products, telling us what random person in a video would look better with thousands of dollars worth of medical treatment. And people die under the knife or from infections. These are real surgeries. Can you imagine wiping out the rest of your life because some man said you had chubby cheeks? Because somebody told you your breasts were wrong? Because your thighs committed the sin of touching? You really want to meet your ancestors because the vibes were off on your boobs? None of us are immune to propaganda, but we can try our hardest not to constantly consume it. Find women you know and look for their histories and their faces. Romanticize everything that makes you unique. Reject the notion that faces and bodies can go out of fashion. That is just some male garbage made up to steal our fucking money, time, and energy. Plastic surgery is about fear of life and of ourselves.